All right, today we're going to be learning how to foil. So right here you see foil is right here. And then so the steps to this, the first steps to this is right here. First, outer, inner, and last. So for this problem, you have first is 2x and 3x. So you multiply those together and you get 6x squared. And then outer, you get 2x and negative 4, so that's minus 8x. And then inner, you get 5 and 3x, so that's plus 15x. And then last is 5 and negative 4, so you get minus 20. And now you got to combine the like terms, so you have 6x squared. And then right here, you have... Uh, negative 8x and 15x, so that would be plus 7x, and then minus 20. So that's the first problem. There are some other problems that you will come across that uh, will have stuff like uh, this positives, all positives, or all negatives, or um, one that looks like this. So you have one term is x plus 3, and then another one is x minus 3. So again, for first you have two x's, so that'd be x squared, and then plus 3x is, or minus 3x, my bad, minus 3x, and then inner plus 3x, and then last is uh, 9, minus 9. So right here you see that these are complete opposites, so you don't even have to worry about that. You don't have to, you can just skip to the, la the first and then the last. So you get x squared minus 9, and that would be your answer. Another example of these would be one with uh, just, it's one term but it's squared. So basically, you can solve it one of two ways. You have 4x plus 5, and then you can do it again. The square just means it's multiplied by itself. So you do another 4x plus 5. So right here you see you get 16x squared for the first ones, 4x and 4x. Then for outer, you get 4x and 5. So that'd be plus 20x. Inner, you get plus, uh, or you get 5 and 4x again. So that'd be another uh, 20x. And then 5 times 5 for the last for the last term is plus 25. So you get you combine like terms now, right there. You get 16x squared plus 20, or sorry. 40x plus 25. Another way that you can solve it and get the same answer is you can do this right here, 4x plus 5 squared. So you'd multiply the first term by itself. You'd square the first term, so 16x squared, and then the next thing you would do is double the sum, so 4x plus 5, so you multiply that by 2, so 4x plus 5 is 20, you get 20 right there, and then you multiply it by 2, so you get 40 plus 40x, and then you square the last term, plus 25, and then they're the same. Last example I'll be doing is one with all negatives right here. You see x minus 5 and then x minus 2. So for the first one, the first terms, you get x squared. Outer, the outer terms, you get x and negative 2, which would be minus 2x. Inner, you get minus 5 and x, so that's minus 5x, and then the last is negative 5, 
negative 2, so that would be positive 10, because 2 negatives equal a positive. So, again, just combine like terms, you get x squared minus 7x plus 10. Thank you for your time.